everyone, and welcome to hole number 7 on part 4 of the Porthello Cove in the Summer Major Tournament. The video is sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic, so let's go. Hole number 7, yeah, it's a short part 4 uh, where we actually are uh, uh, able to actually go to green directly. You know, and that is something that we are not going to try here in this guide. The reason I'm not going to try that is because we do need a club with a good amount of curl otherwise we will have to be very spot on with our hook or our slice shot and that is not something that is common when it come playing from the first tee so we're going to lay up and i'm going to show you an approach that will give you an easy drive it will give you an easy approach as well uh, to go for the pin our opponent here is going to go on the right side and that is the side we're going to go with as well unfortunately he's going to time out so our turn now, we're going to play with the extra mile, and this approach you can actually play with whatever driver you might, uh, you you have though. And you don't have to play with a Titan either, you can play with a Mauling, you can play with a Navigator, you can play with a Quasar, and even a basic ball if you want to. We're going to play with a Mauling to just give ourselves a little bit of side spin as well. Try to aim to get your ball to stop as far as possible on that uh, fairway platform without risking going into the rough of course. So, have a little bit of room. Adjust from this distance. You do not have to add any of any um, any adjustment for that one or any percentage. Even though it's slight downhill, this ball is not going to be affected that much by the wind, especially not from the front tee. So we're going to put ourselves there, bounce and using side spin and the back spin to put ourselves, as you can see, to have an open straight shot towards the pin. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, a really great approach towards the pin. And with this type of wind, and with a club that might have a maximum amount of curl, let's, for an example, a quarterback in an upgraded level, let's say a big topper or something like that, will definitely give you an opportunity to go over directly. With also, you know, with straight tailwind, with a titan ball or something like that, then we can also go full blast over there and put ourselves up for a wedge. But with the wind that we had for our drive, the best way for us to go for the pin is to lay up and then uh, try to ship it in for uh, with our backbone here. So we're lining it up, letting it bounce there on the fairway. Try to find a flat spot as possible there on the fairway to just bounce uh, nicely towards the pin. Seven point seven with the back one level seven is going to is going to be almost four rings. So we're going to go three point nine rings. We hit it perfect and we're going to let it bounce towards the pin here nicely. You can see we're just going to miss to the right side and kind of forgot about to just move the ball guideline position just a tiny little bit though. So, okay, that was hole number seven, ladies and gentlemen. And might we going to play it a bit differently in the regular tournament depending on the win. But with this type of win, we're going to lay up, take a safe route and have a good chance for the eagle. Thanks a lot for watching this video. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic and good luck! in the Summer Major Tournament.